Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm a, I, I am a graduate student at Kyoto University, Japan. Uh, I'm really glad to be here today. Thank you. Uh, let us start. Uh, etymologically speaking, the word nikshipa may mean to put down. In Jain tradition, however, this word has a unique meaning of, and definition. Alsdorf state that Nikshepa is the system of focusing keywords by applying a format of fixed viewpoints. He also pointed out the importance of, of making clear its significance in order to understand the text which repre represents the earliest post canonical de development of giant doctrine and ex exegesis. Paying attention to two types Nikshepa, which appears in Uttaradhyana Sutra, he examined which is an old form. As he mentioned that he had not yet seen a study which would explain, explain the details of Nikshepa technique and make clear its general significance and practical use, or practical use. Indeed, this is one of the starting points of the full-scale research on Nikshepa. However, we, uh, we must not overlook another important research uh, pr presented at the same time as this. Uh, Dixit, uh, Dixit defines Anayoga Dvara as the point of investigation of the meaning of the words in canons, and Nikshepa as a particular set of Anayoga Dvaras. He classified the history of uh, Jain thought into two ages, namely the Ages, age, of, age of Agamas and the Age of Logic. Besides, uh, each, each age is into, uh, into three, the beginning, medieval, and the end of, age, end of the age, and explain the theory of Pramana, Naya, and Anekantavada, including Nikshepa, belonging to the each historical part. After these works, uh, several st studies have been made on Nikshepa so far. Uh, though, though these uh, researches, it has been recognized that Nikshepa is basically fourfolded, namely Nama, Stapana, Dravya, and Baba. In explaining the general definition of Nikshepa, an example of Raja is uh, often quoted. The name of uh, the name Raja, uh, which is given to the son of the son of a cattleman, for, for instance, is Nama Nikshepa. A portrait or, or statue of the king Raja is Tapana Nikshepa. A prince who, who will be the king in future, or the former king who has al already retired, or the dead body of, of the king, are uh, Dravya Nikshepa. The king, Raja, uh, who are engaged in political activities at present is Baba Nikshepa. As shown, as shown above, there, uh, there may be very general agreement in the defi definition of the concept of Nikshepa so far. However, there seems to be no study that try to focus in detail on Nikshepa, especially in the age of logic. There is no disagree, disagree, disagreement on this point that Akanka plays a very important role among the, among the authors belonging to the age of logic. From the point of view, uh, from the point of, view of uh, Nikshepa also, uh, which constitute his philosophical system, his significance cannot be overlooked. Therefore, in this view of the, his significance of, for Nikshepa, this paper is uh, concentrated on the concept of Nikshepa in Akaranka's works. First of all, we will focus our attention on the Nikshepa in Tatvarta Varitika, Tatvarta Raja Varitika, which is the commentary on Tatvarta Sutra of Masvati. This is, uh, this is because it is pointed out by Mahendra Kumar Jain that Tatvarta Raja Varitika is an area one among his works. Therefore, it is quite likely that his understanding of Nikshepa in Tatuarta Vartika serves as the foundation of Nikshepa in other works. In this part, while clarifying the fundamental definition of Nikshepa, I would like to especially 
of the uh, common future with Sarvata city of Pujapada, which is area commentary on Tatvarta Sutra than Tatvarta Vartika of Akaranka. This will be a good example that Sarvata city affected the definition of uh, definition in Tatvarta Vartika. Next, uh, I will proceed to the comparative study of uh, Nick Shepa in his original works. Among his works, Lagiostraya and Siri Binishya, where Akaranka defines the, the four Nick Shepas clearly, will be treated in this paper. This is, uh, refers these two are uh, in, indispensable to examine the concept of Nick Shepa in the sort of Akaranka. Comparing descri uh, description between Tatuata Bartika and his original works, I would like to clarify the description common among them and the description be different from each other. Common part would show that the understanding of Nick Shepa in Tatuata Bartika serves the basis of descri and description of Nick Shepa in his foreign works, and different one will prove how his comprehension of Nick Shepa changed throughout his works. So Nick Shepa in Tatuata Bartika, uh, general definition of Nick Shepa. Nama uh, Stapana Drabya Bhavata Tanyasa. This is the aphorism about Nick Shepa in Tatuata Sutra. On this aphorism, uh, the expra explanation about four Nyasas, uh, Nyasas namely Nama, Stapana, Dravya, and Baba is made as follows first. <coughs> Nama Nikshepa is defined as following. The act of naming without any other causes, Nimitantara, is Nama. Although, although the meaning of other causes is not cr e explained clearly in Tatvarta Vartika, as seen later in his original works, they are explained as a character characteristic uh, with which a certain thing is equipped. That is, uh, it is naming to give something a name without being based on its future character. In Sarvata city, naming is also described as the act of naming something regardless of the meaning uh, which the word originally has. Therefore, although each and every word explaining na name are not completely the same as in Sarvata city, it is possible that the definition of Nama Nikshepa in Tatuata Bartika is fundamentally based on the definition in Sarvata city. By connecting uh, something A and B with linguistic expression, this A is that B. Uh, substituting uh, something A for the original thing B is Stapana Nikshepa. As we say, uh, Windra, uh, Indra, which is the husband of Shachi and the highest one, and this is that Indra. That description in here mostly follows uh, Sarvata city as well as in the case of Namanishipa. Next, uh, Dravya. Uh, in the matter of Dravya, there are some problems. Uh, in Tatvarata Bhartika, at first, Dravya Nikshepa is defined as the aspect of the meaning of a word which denotes the preceding state being co confronted with the essential state, Baba. The problem arises here. This definition focus, focuses only on the future aspect of the state. For example, a prince, uh, for example, a prince who is not the king right now, but uh, will be the king in future. This definition, uh, definition uh, does not focus on the past aspect of the state. For example, the former king who has already retired or the dead body of the king. The set of the two aspects, uh, future and past aspect, is mentioned not only in Sarvata city, but also in Shvetambara text, Anuradvara Sutra, Visheshavashakabasha, therefore, uh, it was the standard orthodox way to focus on both two aspects, yet it seems that Akanka abandoned one of these uh, two aspects. Why Akanka uh, decided to, to do so? 
with this uh, question in mind, we will now take a look at following characteristic of Dravia, uh, characteristic of Dravia Akaranka described. Dravia is also uh, clarified into two, and namely Dravia which is concerned with canons and that is not concerned with canons. The former is the person who knows only canonical wo words without contemplating the meaning of these words. The latter is further cl classified into three. The first is the body of the person who knows the meaning of the word. It is a material aspect of the body lasting throughout three tenses, perfect, present, and future. The second is a pre previous state being con confronted with the particular state. What, ha what has been noticed is that the quite similar phrase as the definition mentioned above applies to this case. It can be uh, interpreted as Akaranka repeats the same definition twice. The Akaranka's intention is un unclear and uh, we cannot have enough evidence to decide this matter, but it may be that Akaranka confused in some, uh, these points. Anyway, uh, let us now continue to follow uh, his dis description again. The third is things uh, except these two. Uh, this is further divided into karma and no karma, but Akaranka indicated that only these names and did not explain these meanings in detail. Uh, such is an outline of Dravya in Tatvarta Bhartika. This definition of Dravya given above is not a material aspect of the meaning of the word as we have seen in the example of Raja, but a unique aspect paying attention on the material aspect of the person who knows the meaning of the word. This aspect is also seen in Sarvata city, Anuyagadvara, Visheshya Bhashukabhasha, and so on. Therefore, there are the traditional way to interpret Dravya Nikshepa. And Baba Nikshepa is the aspect of the meaning of the word uh, which denotes something in the identified with its present and essential state. This is also class, uh, classified into two, which is concerned with uh, canons and which is not concerned with canons. The former uh, signifies something identified with its present and essential state which is then defined in canon. Uh, yeah. The latter uh, signifies something identified with its present and essential state, which is experienced in general, not in canon. In the case of Baba, uh, these definitions are common in uh, common with Sarvata City. As seen, as seen above, in the matter of this uh, definition of Nikshepa in Tatvarta Bhartika, we may say that Akaranka followed the definition in Sarvata City. After the definition of four newspapers, a total of uh, eight arguments about their characteristic follows. The following arguments do not appear in Sarvat City except for the last, thing, last one. Furthermore, <coughs> uh, they, are not, they are not seen in Tatvata Sutra, uh, Sutra Basha uh, by Umaswati himself or Anuyagadvara Sutra Visheshava Shukabhasha. Therefore, in con conclusion, uh, it can be understood that these are the arguments uh, which he invented uniquely. Mahindra Kumar Jain indicates that Akalanka was also a grammarian. Among following discussions, Akalanka focused on the linguistic features of Nikshepa and quoted Janendra Vyakarana of uh, Pujapada and Mahabhasha several times. This fact could be a good example uh, which supports Jain's opinion. We do not have enough time to examine all of them, so I, do, I would like to pick up a couple of topics as seen in Hadab. Uh, uh, there is one objection as following. Generally speaking, owing to the order that between the common use and the technical use of the word, the technical one should take uh, precedence over the common one. 
name in Nick Shaper may be the technical use of the word. Accordingly, in the theory of Nick Shaper, name takes, uh, name takes priority over those three elements of Nick Shaper so that uh, there is no space for other three. Akanaka offers the answer for this. <coughs> we usually experience both cases. For example, one is said, bring Gopara, he may interpret two ways. One is that uh, he interprets Gopara as a cattleman. It is common use of the word. In this case, he will bring a cattleman. The other is to interpret Gopara as a uh, proper name. This is technical use of the word. In this case, he will bring a person whose name is Gopara. Uh, we we ex experience this both case by chance, thus that objection is not correct. Uh, Akranka also said, furthermore, uh, each element of Nick Shepa belongs to two nights. Uh, among these two, there is no priority, thus that objection is not valid. Yeah. The next uh, relationship with Pramana, Naya, and Nikshepa. In Tatvarta Sutra, the aphorism on Nikshepa appears just before that on Pramana and Naya. Assuming that the intention of the author, Umaswati, is represented in the order of every aphorism in Tatvarta Sutra, we can say that Nikshepa is the previous step to Pramana and Naya. Indeed, indeed uh, at the pre beginning of the commentary of the aphorism on Pramana and Naya, Akaranka states that the object of Pramana and Naya are the seven tattva and the correct view, Samyak Darshana, that have been recognized by Nikshepa. In other words, in the matter of tattva and uh, Samyak Darshana, we have to specify the meaning of these words by means of Nikshepa at first and then recognize correctly them by Pramana and Naya. It should also be added that uh, after the aphorism of Pramana and Naya, two Anuyogas follows. In Tatvarata Sutra, Nikshepa, Pramana, Naya, and two Anuyogas are defined as the way of way to recognize Tatva and uh, Samyak Darshan. Nikshepa in Akranaka's original works, uh, Nikshepa in Prabhachana Prabhesha, Lagiyastra. In Lagiyastra, Nikshepa appears in the last part. The first not noteworthy point is that uh, Akranaka mentioned that the word meaning has to be analyzed at least in four ways. <coughs> that is, Nikshepa is defined as originally more than fourfold. This feature is important since not, in, not, not seen in Tatavarta Bartika or Sarvata City. We can find this in Anuyaga Dvara Sutra. Uh, in Anuyaga Dvara Sutra, uh, this topic is described following. Uh, if we can, uh, we have to analyze the meaning of the word as in many ways as we can. However, if we cannot, we have to do so at least in four ways, N namely Nama, uh, Stapana, Dravya, Nikshepa, uh, Baba. In this respect, uh, Akranka refers to Shvetambara text, Anuyoga Dvara. After that, the definition of Nikshepa follows. Uh, Nama Nikshepa is defined as the act of name naming without any other codes, Nimitantara. The description here is uh, fairly common with that of Tatavarta Bartika, but it's different in that uh, the meaning of other causes, Nimitantara, are explicit here as Jati, Dravya, Guna, Kriya. Sometimes people give us someone a name after a characteristic which the word originally has, but with regard to Namanik Shepa, the act of naming without this characteristic is indicated. And it is Stapana Nikshepa that substituting something A for the original thing B in, in the true picture of it, 
Sat Baba or in sim symbolized form, Sat Baba. The important point to note is the terms true picture, Sat Baba, or symbolized form, Sat Baba, here, are not seen in Tatarata Bhartika nor Sarvata city. Then it may be regarded as Akaranga's invention, but that is not true. It is pointed out in the footnote of Mahendra Kumar Jain that uh, this type of definition about Stapana can be traced, traced uh, to Vishesha Vashika Vasha, Brihat Karpa Vasha, Anuyaga Dubara Sutra, Abhashyaka Nirukti. Although it is uh, simplistic to, to think that only because this phrase is common among these texts, Akanaka knows all these old texts, yet owing to the example above, uh, it seems quite likely that at least he knows Anuyagadvara Sutra and refers to it. Judging from the fact that the phrase Nimitantara, which is characteristic phrase in the definition of Namanikshepa, is not seen in this text, it is possible that uh, based on the understanding in Tatvarta Bhartika, Akaranka correct the appropriate expression from other texts and uh, put them together here. Based on the definition in Tatvarta Bhartika, Dravya and Baba are uh, uh, briefly descri uh, described here. Thus, we may uh, shortcut them. Uh, uh, significance of Nikshepa. Now, the significance of Nikshepa is described uh, following. Nikshepa is fruitful that uh, it eliminates the unnecessary meaning of the word and adapt the intended meaning of the word. This kind of expression discussing about the significance of Nikshepa did not appear in Tatarata Bhartika. However, we can find it in Sarvata Siddhi. The, the text before Sarvata city, such as uh, Anuyagadvara Sutra and Visheshavashakabhasha, do not discuss about, the, about this topic. Therefore, Puja Pada can be regarded as the first who pay attention to the significance of Nikshepa. Relationship with Pramana, Naya, and Nikshepa. In Lagiya Surya, uh, the significance of Pramana, Naya, and Nikshepa are given as below. Pramana is the way to recognize the general characteristic of an object throughout three tenses, and Naya makes clear the intended part of the object. Moreover, Nikshepa analyzes the meaning of the word. Although Akanaka himself does not express the relationship in view of time, the commentary uh, Nyayakumda Chandra analyzes that Nikshepa works after Naya. That is, uh, at first, a person recognizes an object or a word, and then he starts to consider the meaning of, meaning of the word. As in Tatvarata Sutra, uh, Nikshepa, Pramana, uh, Naya, and two Anuyogas are defined as the way to re recognize the correct meaning of every word. Not mentioned ab about uh, inclusion uh, property with uh, nayas. The Nikshepa in Shiribin Shia. In, in short, uh, definition, significance, and the uh, number of the elements that we have seen in Lagia Strea are common. With regard to the relationship, Nikshepa is defined to work after naya. It is not described that Nikshepa, Pramana, Naya, and the two Anuyogas are the ways to recognize the meaning of the word. It can be said that he abandoned such system of knowledge as seen in Tatavarata Sutra and Lagia Sreya. So, uh, conclusion. In the matter of the definition of Nikshepa in Tatavarata Bhartika, we may say that Akananka followed the definition in Sarvata city. On the other hand, uh, regarding the linguistic uh, argument, which is not seen in Sarvata city, they are uh, likely Akananka's invention. As has been pointed out by Fujinaga, Nikshepa cannot be discussed beyond the narrow limit of linguistic view, 
Therefore, it is difficult to discuss in the same level as Pramana and Naya, which is related with the epistemological topic. From uh, what has been said uh, before, it can be concluded that uh, recognizing Nikshepa as the means of understanding Tatava, Akanaka noticed its linguistic uh, characteristic, characteristic as seen in Tatvarta Vartika and uh, clearly distinguished it from Pramana and Naya as the epistemological causes. This definition in Tatvarta Vartika uh, adopted in Lagiastraya. However, it is likely that besides this uh, definition, the ideas in other works, uh, namely Anirogadvara or Visheshakabasha, etc., are corrected and uh, put together there. Uh, furthermore, in Lagiastraya, he also adopted the notion in Tatvarta Vartika that Nikshepa, Paramana, Naya, and uh, two Anirogas are the meaning, means of uh, cognition of seven tatvas, but regard Nikshepa as working after Naya. This is likely because that uh, from the epistemological point of point of view, he admit that the uh, admit that at first a person recognizes an object or word, and then he starts to consider the meaning of it. In Sintiminishia. Uh, it was not discussed the structure that tatvas are recognized by means of pramana, naya, nikshepa, and two anyogas. This may indicate that he abandoned such system of knowledge as seen in Tatvata Sutra or in Lagya Surya. And he took, uh, uh, and we may say uh, that uh, he took pains with uh, application the traditional doctrine to his own works. Thank you. <laughs>